Hello, Gary Simon here with the Design Letter and DesignCourse.com, and today we're going to be looking at layer styles. Let's go and click on File New, Width 800, Height 500, Resolution 72 pixels per inch. Let's hit OK. Let's zoom up to 100%. And to illustrate today's point about uh, layer styles and what they are and how to use them, I, I'm just going to create kind of like a website menu panel. So I, with the ra rounded rectangle tool selected, I'm going to leave radius at 10 and just this blue color selected right here for the foreground. I'm just going to drag out kind of like a vertical column menu here. All right, so um, I'm going to just create some fake links inside of it with the type tool and choose white for the foreground color. Let's give a heading like, uh, let me think here, navigation. Now let's use our uh, move tool at control T and we'll hold shift and scale that down a little bit. We'll use the uh, move tool, hit apply. Then underneath it, with just standard Arial, we'll use, uh, we'll type in some just fake links right now. Um, let's see here, let's change the font size here to, we'll say 14. All right, link one, link two, and if this is happening to you, which it probably isn't because I messed with it before, in the character uh, panel over here, for the line height, we're just going to put auto. That will fix that. All right. Um, another link. Another link here. You get the point. All right. Okay, so let's just say, for example, this is our uh, our menu we're designing for our website. Um, I want to space these out a little bit further. What does 24 look like? Okay, that's better. All right, so obviously um, this uh, this panel may or may not uh, look good with whatever our entire website looks like. Uh, so let's just say it doesn't, and it would make sense to try to add some layer styles to it. So this is the... Uh, first shape layer that we created which is this blue area right here uh, if we double click on the right hand side of the layer we get the layer style option uh, or window uh, we can see that there's a ton of different styles down here that we can use um, so really it's just a matter of experimenting so if we choose stroke it gives us a three pixel stroke uh, by default it's black around the entire uh, shape so Let's just make this one. Now, obviously, we have a ton of different options. I'm not going to go over every option for every style here, uh, but I'm just going to use them in a way that could make sense for this uh, particular design that we're working on. So we can change the position of the stroke to either inside or outside. By default, it's outside. We're going to leave that there and change the color to white, which is the same color of the background. So okay. Now let's choose drop shadow. We can see that white area now because of the drop shadow uh, uh, we've applied. So let's choose blend mode normal. Uh, let's choose size. We're going to go all the way down to zero, but the distance we're going to increase. The angle we're going to change a little bit as well. And then the op opacity we can change all like real down to just to where we can barely even see it. So that kind of creates a cool effect. We can also add a gradient overlay. And we have a style option here where we can change it to radial if we want or uh, angle uh, or reflected. Let's choose reflected and hit gradient. And this gives us the gradient editor in which we can edit the gradient. Uh, if I select this right here, which is our current foreground and background, and double click on this picker here for the white option. As you can see, we can uh, kind of just mess around with the gradient here in this option. Um, 
Although, I may want to reverse these. Let's take these over here. And maybe just mess around with this a little bit more. Hit OK. Hit OK. Uh, we could even add a little bit more here if we wanted to. Say, for example, the inner shadow. We see this. It doesn't look good by default. So let's uh, mess around with the options here. It's like normal. Uh, for angle, we're going to go straight to 90%, or 90 degrees, I mean. And change the size to zero. Distance, we're going to do increase. And then for the color, we could choose this dark area right here. And that kind of uh, creates a background for the actual navigation title. Hit OK. And then, uh, do we want to add anything else? Well, not sure if we do. Uh, also, one thing, when it says use a global light, that affected our uh, gradient. Where, where, where am I at? Right here, right here. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to choose 90 again. I met my drop shadow. There we go. Now it's fixed. All right, hit OK. All right, so as you can see, uh, for this back panel right here, um, we have no additional layers. Everything is applied in the effects area. Uh, we can drop that and expand it, which makes it easy to work with or hide specific ones. Um, the whole point of this is to uh, achieve any type of effect that you want and try to achieve it on the actual layer through layer styles if possible. Otherwise, you're going to be working with a lot of different layers to create this same effect, which isn't good for organization purposes. Um, and one thing to note, though, however, say, for example, for some reason we would want to scale this up or scale it down. Uh, let's hold Shift and select all three layers. Hit Control-T. Now, if we scale this down, hold Shift, and then hit the apply, we could see that it kind of screws everything up uh, because the actual layer effects, they don't scale as well. Uh, so hit control Z. That's one thing to take into consideration when you're working with layer styles. Uh, we could scale it down like this, of course, and then go ahead and re-edit all of the distances and such uh, of like the background, for example, uh, in the gradient uh, and the inner shadow as well but that's just something to note um, and that is basically it when it comes to layer styles uh, of course it's something that you really need to uh, tamper around with and experiment with um, but as I always like to say simple is usually better so just because every layer you create you have these options um, doesn't mean you should use them uh, we can even apply layer styles, all the same layer styles to uh, these uh, text layers as well. We can give them drop shadows that we can see here, which looks really bad, but new designers love putting them for some reason. Um, we can add strokes, etc., etc., etc. In the end, though, it's all about making something that looks good. Um, so you don't want to use things just because you can. But that is it. Uh, my name is Gary Simon. Check out designcourse.com if you haven't already. Uh, and I will talk to you later. Goodbye.